Right, let's talk about the situation with Marcel Braithwaite. Um, give me your side of things. Oh, honestly, we have uh, been Marcel fight, full fight out, but uh, we think uh, this time British boat got to get me and the British boat, uh, British fight, and I think this time we're gonna we're gonna take it. Let me get your manager in. Bang. <laughs> Right. 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 Yeah, you tell me your side of things with uh, him and Marcel Freire. Well, do you know what? It was just a frustrating situation, right? We all know that Thomas Asombra is one of the most avoided fighters in Britain. He's not even got the scariest record or, or he's got the losses. So why that is, I don't always know. But he's definitely heavily avoided. He dedicated. Um, he had the fight in Denmark. He stayed in the gym. Dedicated three, four months. He was um, hitting strength and conditioning, taking himself out of his work when he's... You know, he's a fighter that's really trying to make something at the end, back end of his career to push on and set him up for after boxing. Seven calendar days before he was chief supporting, live on Channel 5, British final eliminator. Marcel pulls out on, on, on some shoulder injury, no proof apart from a, a physio note. And, you know, it probably, it might have been real, it might not have been, we, we don't know. If he was injured, then hopefully quick recovery. But a week later, literally a day or two after the show he was meant to fight at, they're tagging Prince Patel, calling him out for fights in, in a matter of weeks, a month, so it didn't really make sense to me. Like, Thomas Summer's been here, he's in a place now where he's about second or third in line now for the British title. Um, can't get him an opponent for it. Uh, we don't know what's going on with Ayers and Kademi. I think they've had three opportunities for the move on. <laughs> I mean, let someone else have a fight. Thomas will fight anyone, he'll beat anyone in Britain, a fact. Um, it's just frustrating. We've got uh, uh, Marcel for the British fi uh, final eliminator. But it's about getting him into the ring. We've, we've reached out and we've tried, you know, rearranging it with the same promoter, the same sort of network as the first time. They're interested, we're interested. But I think it's just waiting to see whether Wayne Smith, Marcel Braithwaite, if they really want it. I don't think they do, but I don't think they've got nothing else. Have you asked for scans of the injury? What's the point? You can't force someone to get in a boxing ring. Um, the purse is in the thing, it's not even worth taking people to court over, so it's like, it doesn't matter. If he doesn't want to box, he doesn't want to box, let us know so you can fuck off at the British line. We can get someone else in for the final exactly. eliminator. Exactly. He's, he's holding up your career. Yeah, and, 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 and his career's been held up his whole life. His career was held up when he had to defect to this country to have a safe space to live 10, 12 years ago when the Olympics came around. His career's been held up from that. He's a journeyman because of where he was born and the country he's from and the, the, the lack of backing he had from there. If he was a British two times Olympian, we'd be having a very different conversation right now. I'm a British no times Olympian and all these other fighters pretty much are one times Olympian or no times Olympian. Look at Galawia fight. That's the British version of a two times Olympian. That's the difference. What's he like as a manager? Listen, I want us to fight. Tell anyone in the Super Flight to fight call me. I want to fight, I want a big fight. No, so what, what's Sonny like as a manager? Oh, dude, it's too good to be. This is my best friend, you know, and my best friend. <laughs> and I'm so happy to be here, to, to be next to him. And I keep learning, I keep learning next to him. And I'm really, really happy to be uh, next to him. And to be my, my manager, I'm happy. Sonny, I can't uh, speak to you and not get one final update on this thing with Martinez. Where are we at? Yeah, I was speaking to Eddie. I was peeking my head over the, uh, the barrier. I think I got caught on uh, the DAZN cameras. Um, yeah, we both think it's done. We think it's going to be all tied up and be the next however many working days. Um, yeah, it should, it, it should be done. We've agreed. They've agreed. Renoso's chasing him for the fight. Everyone wants it. Um, WBC want it. The IBF want it. I'm trying to get the ring on board. I don't know what is with that. I think we've got a good chance. The number two versus number three. Nakatani's moving up weight on vacating, so I've heard. I beat well, Martinez was the last number one. Then he was number two after Gonzalez. The one before him was Maruti Mufalani. We all know what happened there. And that made me number two. So I don't know. I think IBF, WBC in the ring should be announced. They've mentioned 22nd of October time and time again. No absolute confirmation, but Hopefully Mexico City, that's where I want to go. Like, generally, that's, that, that is my intention, to unify and clear the division and sort of put an end to a storyline in Mexico City. That's, that's what I'm saying. Hopefully that gets signed and sealed soon and hopefully we get some news on you, uh, a positive update. Appreciate your time, Thomas and Sonny. Thank you very much. Cheers, Uber. Yeah, my dad in the street gets a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. There's five blokes outside my front door. You come and help One hell of a fucking story, so stay tuned.
Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.